Do you hear the ambiance? Do you feel the feelings that come along with being told? That you can change the difficulty level at any time? No! We lost Bjorn or whatever his name was. I think his name was Igor Igor or something like that. A black horde is forming at the tree line. Enough of this. Enough of this. Says so Ivor, glancing over his shoulder. We're going back. And adds, Rook. I'm doing one more check of the houses around here. See if you can find anyone. <laughs> what I'm doing is known as an accent. Keep watch. As you turn to head back, a colossus appears around the side of the house, silently looms over a lead, its face is expressionless, stony mass, more terrifying than any war may have produced. Time seems slow as it pulls back its enormous maze. Uh, 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 run at it, axe ready. You launch yourself, and Alette turns toward you with confusion in her face. She looks behind her and freezes in her tracks. The dredge is too far. It's too far to reach in time. Shh, I'm so stupid. Suddenly, Edgel is between the dredge and Alette, his shield above him. The black stone mace falls, Edgel's shield crumples, and so does the boy beneath it. A moment later, Ivor is there, his sword run through the neck of the dredge. He's gone, says Ivor, looking over the boy's shattered skull. Alette gasps her hands to her mouth. I'm checking the other houses, Ivor remarked. See if you can find anyone and then meet me at the Great Hall. Fuck, man. Fuck. He, he, I could have saved him. It was that random roll. God. But. What is this? Plus one armor, plus one strength, plus one willpower. That's really good. Oh my god. Promote. Continue. Promote her. Here we are. So she's going to be in the back. What is it? What does her attacks do? Puncture. Oh, I didn't realize that's how that worked. Oh, I would have used that much more judiciously. You got it. All right, we're going back. We're, people are getting promoted. Ivor strong arm, jerk. I rook, rook. Continue. Yes. He's an unta. Light step. Yeah. You know what? This guy's going to be able to use so much willpower always. He's going to be able to do just key strikes constantly. Hell yeah. I'm going to do that. I mean, if he can use mass exertion, then he better. He's using a let's bracelet. I dig it. Pewter coins pressed with ancient... Okay, so... A narwhal horn. I'm not gonna get any items. I like being strong on my own. You find a new one? If you send them inside, gods, this is bad. Uh, about Gil. It was my fault. <laughs> he was a good fighter for his age. That's like hurt my voice, man. No family, I thought. I've forgotten what's like facing a dredge. I'm out of practice, Rook. Look. <laughs> Dude. As long as I've known, you've always worried your way out of talking about dredge? This would be the time to start talking? I can tell you they rarely stop for rest. The sooner we leave, the better. <laughs> you know, I took a lunch break. I don't remember what silly voice I was using for this guy, but it didn't hurt that much to say. 
Ivor, they'll follow us until we're tripping over tired women and children, then they'll attack us. Even after we're wiped out, they'll keep coming. Trampling corpses in their wake. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Ask the Manders. <laughs> I wasn't there. I wasn't R. But I know you fought your fair share. Aye. I've killed enough slag for one lifetime. He's like slowly becoming like an Irish Nordic bastard, something like that. Well, that's why you're gonna save us now? Don't lay that on me. Come on, let's get inside. And side. Soon enough, his name will be Little Arlen. Little Arlen. Arlen the Jarl. He's got a yox. He's a little fine lad. Hmm. Hmm. Chieftain. Rook, thank the gods you've made it. <laughs> the chieftain is actually an Elcor. The great hall is an utter din. Filled as it is with dozens of terrified families. Don't stop worrying yet. I haven't. What in the depths is going on? Dredge milling around, ransacking houses. The chieftain's wife finds you pushing through the crowd. Oddly. <laughs> they must know we're here. Why haven't they attacked us? I don't know. I wouldn't expect it to last. I've made some decisions, but tell me straight. What will you both do in my place? Great concern. I'd have left by now. They're already outside the door the doors. Not so easily done, Rook. I trust Ivor on this. The chieftain sighs a deep and heavy breath slumping, he looks years older. I imagined us fighting back and saving the town, but nonsense, Ivor's right, of course. We just we can't just wait here to be slaughtered. Where do you wanna go? If the dredge are coming down from the north Frostfell to the west, closes in the walls, intend to freeze Skogar in one push, nobody left behind. I wouldn't. If they follow us, we're done. What do you suggest? Let me create a distraction, then go. I'm gonna take a voice break, because I think the story's very well told, and I want to give deference to the excellent storytelling for a moment, before returning to be silly. Let me create a distraction, then go. I'll catch up on the road to Frostveller. Hmm. So I think what I want to do is go with the distraction because I think I'm ready for a fight. I think I think I think I'm ready for a fight. The chieftain thinks for a long moment. I didn't ask for advice just to ignore it. Promise you're not throwing away your lives on this. That wasn't part of my plan, Ivor. No. But I'm coming with you. That catches you by surprise. The chieftain rubs his chin, but doesn't argue. From the training she's given to let, you've no doubt she can handle a bow. Fine, I'll get the townspeople ready. Make your move, Ivor. We'll leave when you're clear. One. Crap. Alette finds you before you have the chance to find her. I know what you're doing. You have to let me come with you. Don't leave me, please. I'll be good. Okay, Alette. Just promise to listen. I'm an asshole. Here it comes. I promise, she says. Ivor soon's find you both. Let's go, remember. We're not trying to fight them all. We're just getting their attention. You step into the town courtyard. Where you can already see dredge in every direction. Ivor starts banging his shield and swearing at them. We kill a few, he shouts. The rest will follow. Steal yourself for... No, I wanted to rest! You didn't tell me! You didn't! Wait. Wait. Can I come here again? I'm, li I'm literally doing this. One. I can't rest? Holy crap, shit, crap, butt, double. Ah! No! I hit the wrong thing! No! Okay, look. 
This is unfair crud. Wait. Okay, I need to level my stuff up. Fuck. God. Okay, do you understand what happened? Let me explain to you again, because you don't know. I was at the part where the enemy had one strength and Ivor had two armor. He was going to be fine. And then guess what happened? He percent hit me for one. Dredge fucker. I gotta level up. Where are my heroes? Did I level them up already? I did. I can do this. I can't believe. Oh my god, he has to fight injured? This is so stupid. Oh my god. I trust Ivor on this. That's what we did last time. Ivor's right. I'll help with the distraction. Okay, Alette just promised to listen. You better promise to listen. I promise! As soon as she says that, something horrible happens. And we're in the fight. Ah, oh, fuck, we're in such a fight right now. No. Ready, go! Tactical strategy, fight! What am I trying to... What am I... With six fucking health, are you serious? And these guys are all fine. Jeez, Jesus. What am I trying to do in this one? Something like that, I don't know. What am I, what, what's the goal of this one? I assume it's to distract for a while. attack this fool. Oh my god. Uh, and let's end the turn. Guys, I'm so screwed. You know what? Just everybody rest. Just everyone hang out. Oh, you're in range of me? I am embarrassed. Je suis embarrassé. Alright, what am I? Rain of Arrows. Trap one tile with one arrow, causing stir damage if walked over it before next turn. Okay, I think what we're just gonna do is we're gonna... Yeah, let's rank it up. Deal some of that hurting. Oh, dude, I'm so screwed. Everyone, use your willpower. I'm bunching them up together. I think I think this is going to be a, a battle reloaded. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. So much willpower expended in that. Expounded. I think the game's telling me that I have to distract them for some number of turns, but I actually have no idea. Yeah. We are in a bad spot. We are just in not a good one. No. Oops, I hit it twice. Dude, I don't know what happened. I was... I, I, I like, wrecked that last battle. I was so awesome. With one notable exception, as you might imagine. Here he comes. 
Got one. Plus one renown! What are the abilities? Thread the needle? Anyone in attack range? Retreat! And return! Guys are getting really close to me. I'm like super terrified. That tile. Oh god, not Lord Vad. <gasps> Deflected! Oh, this guy's gonna get armor batted. Hard. Oh. Well, that felt good. Oh my god, he's out of range. Oh my god, I need to I need to be more careful about that. Oh Jesus. Just shoot him. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, this is this is really bad. Okay. Uh this is this is a let of the ocean. Okay, we're gonna we we just gotta shoot this guy right here. Shoot him. Okay. Odd leaf. Odd leaf the white. I believe in Lord of the Rings. You know what? You're gonna get armor bad. I'm like having everyone wail so hard. Oh my god, just hurt him. I don't understand the point of this level. I know I'm supposed to like provide a distraction, but I don't know for how long. That's it, just shoot him. Gutted. Renowned. God, his armor is so high. I'm like terrified. I'm like absolutely losing my mind with just freak outedness right now. Oh, I thought it was a let. Oh, dude. Get in the corner! How am I that bad? How am I that bad? I don't know. Rain of Arrows, that. He better deflect everything. Alright, this guy's. This guy's getting toasted. 50%? No problems. We'll power it. Shit. Okay, so I can see the, the swelling, swollen tiles. We're gonna attack this sucker right here. We're gonna hit him for three. With all our willpower that we have available. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna stand here. Do I wanna stand there? I mean, I can attack this guy for three. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here to block the big dudes from hitting my other dude. Threading the needle is not gonna work. Oh god. I guess I'm shooting this one. Oh god. Everyone will power. We are in horrible shape right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Never give up. Quickly! Um. Oh my god. Let us. I didn't mean to do that. I tried to right click to go back, but there it was. We, got, we gotta hurt him for two. This is not good. I am pretty dead. Oh, if I can hit this guy. If I can hit him. Yeah! 
Oh my god. When does it end? What is the goal of this level? How do we end the level? Ah! Um... Battering Ram! Hit him! That was cool! Deflecting everything. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna chippy chop him. Um... Uh, we're, we're okay, we're okay. Wow, this is bad, she only has a bow. Shoot, shoot her! Got him! Got him deflecting everything. Alright, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta break his armor, I think. Dude, how do we... Oh my god. Oh, uh, hit him. Uh, there we, we did it. Maybe. Uh, Alright. Amazingly, our injured ally is the only one to have killed us. Uh, let's break some armor, I suppose. We're pretty dead here. Uh, you know what? We're very tired. We're just gonna we're just gonna rest a little bit in the middle of this battle. So I don't know if this actually ends the game for me. It lets me keep playing. Nice! <laughs> We're okay. A group has gathered at the rear of the caravan. Oddliff walks behind a covered figure in the open wagon. Old fool, she says with clenched teeth. I should have stayed with them. The chieftain's death hits you like a blow to the gut. You continue on. Ah. Uh. Pausing to catch your breath, you glance backward to see the caravan stretched out past the point of safety. They're spaced out so far you're unable to see those bringing up the rear. I've got to pull them together, says Ivor. You refuse to risk the lives of everyone for small gains. A sharp whistle signals the clansmen in front to stop moving forward and start clearing space. Smiles appear on tired faces, even though you didn't push as far as the, from the dredge as you'd like. Something, something, something. I want to camp. Oh my god, where are my heroes? Oh man. And everyone is okay! Wow, everyone is actually fine. Oh, let's just rest for four days. One. Oh, we can't rest? Oh, but. Um, can't promote you, or you, or you. This is armor break? Alright, I'm gonna have to do some armor breaking, I think. I don't really know anything at all, but... Training time allows you to test against blood. Training fights never injure your allies or grant renown, but they let you test strategies and safely. Training will give you hints about playing effectively, and that's something to say about each ability. Come here to test out new characters as they join you. How do I end the battle? Great! Woo! Well. Let's rest. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Look at that great morale. We got one day of supplies. 
leave. Uh oh, we lost some clansmen. This is so terrifying. How do I camp again? Good morale, that's renown, options, map, days of supplies. Okay. We don't have any supplies. Far enough for today, I think. After a day of misery, men and women drop their meager possessions beneath the godstone of Hrilvivu. What are we doing? We just left our homes because suddenly they were dredge. Chieftain did what I suggested and look what he got for it. Who are these people? Someone has to hold them together. That's you, Rook. We are so fucked. Rook is looking after us. Yeah, see, now these, these dialogue options make a lot of sense to me. How am I supposed to do that? What do we do if we run into more dredge? But you're the dredge killer around here. What do we do if we run into more dredge? You mean when? I'll be honest with you. These men can't take on dredge by themselves. I expect we'll lose two for every slag we take down. So we run? Only if you want to lose women and children. We're going to have to fight! And there are going to be deaths. Gods be damned! Why is this happening? Think of how I feel. I'm stuck nursing a bunch of weaklings. Dude, you died. Feh, men are a plague on the world worse than any dredge as far as I can tell. Chats like this are why we get along so well, Ivar. You sleep poorly, the sun forever stuck to an eternally bright uh, sky. Before the others rise, you find yourself staring over long, low hills covering in pine. The godstone looms overhead, the massive eyes of Herald of Erling in the same direction you inspect the stone. The weathered stone doesn't see many visitors, not much reason to travel so far east. When hunters come through, they sometimes stop to give offerings, out of habit more than anything else now that the gods are dead. Hridvaldir was the god of hunters and of wild beasts, occasionally seen roaming the land as both a man and wolf. He was always depicted in effigy with his terrible spear. You wonder what he'd think about his woods being full of dredge now. A young girl from the caravan approaches you. I made this for you, she says, handing you a crude necklace carved from a branch she must have found nearby. Thank you for saving my mama, she says, before running back to her tent. Back at your tent, you rouse Alette, who clings to your arm until she's completely awake. Bad dreams. Eventually, the camp is broken down. It's time to move on to Frostvedder. It feels like an end more than a start. God, I'm losing all sorts of people. It's just, they just have good morale, though. Oh god. Oh Jesus. People are going to die. Oh my god. Here it comes. The caravan halts when a group of men appear on the trail, weapons at their feet. We've seen the dredge in your wake, says one. We don't wish to meet them alone. If you'll let us join, we'll show you a watering hole with enough animals to fill those supply wagons. An inherent fear of strangers raises mutters from the caravan. Allow men to join. If you'll be no trouble, come along, you say. The men cautiously join your ranks and prove trustworthy. The hidden watery hole nearby is teeming with animals and soon your supplies are nicely restocked. Wait. Alright, we, we only have five days of supply. We have four days of supply. Oh my god, the Oregon Trail is so intense in this game. During a rest, one of the men who got who one of the men get too drunk and end up splashing mead in a warrior's face. A brawl erupts. Many thrown fists and a broken bone later, the instigator, Raffensvarter, yeah, Raffensvarter, is tossed on the ground at your feet, angry clansmen looking for satisfaction. His personal defense is little more than drooling mumbles. Hmm.
course a public apology out of him. Bam! Grabbing Rafsnzvart's nerd's neck, you force him to look at the crowd. Apologize for this mess. You demand the man babbles until you squeeze harder. Sorry! He yells repeatedly. Even after you let him go, folks shake their heads but leave the man alone. Shit, I didn't get any renown. Oh my god. Caravan is visibly relieved to find a small village on the way to Frost Veller with beds and fresh supplies. The locals here are shocked by the news you bring and discuss it among while you set up. Map, time to explore. Oh, nope, it's time for a break. When we come back, we're gonna do this map. Mm-hmm. 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 